Aloha! Hey everybody, welcome to the Aloha Monkey Shortcast podcast. This week we're interviewing Paul Marzano, who recently released his album Mood Swing Serenade. He's a local musician here in Point Pleasant. We can't wait to hear him. But first, a word from our sponsor. The Aloha Monkey Shortcast podcast is brought to you by No Knot Necklace Carrier. Are you tired of ruining your necklaces with knots and kinks? No Knot keeps jewelry tangle free and organized in an attractive, easy to pack carrier. It's perfect for travel and home and available for under $20. Check out nonotnecklace.com for links to Amazon, Walmart, and other online retailers. No Knot Necklace Carrier, don't get twisted. Hey everybody, Loha Monkey back with you. Thank you, No Knot Necklace Carrier, for our, our gracious um, sponsor here. Yeah. And uh, today we're here with Paul Marzano, Paul. Hey, 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 hey. our first guest. Fantastic. Our first guest. I am happy to be on here. our second podcast. Woo! And uh, for Paul, we're we're uh, we're playing with Paul. He just dropped a new album called Mood Swing Serenade, yep. and uh, we're playing over at Marlins on September 21st with him. That's a and Saturday. Yep. We're going to hear a, uh, a song right now. And uh, Paul, what would you like us to play? Why don't we do Smile Like Hollywood? There you go. Sounds that's, like a plan. That's probably the catchiest one. Here we go. Hit it, Scotty. Smile Like Hollywood. I think about her and I feel good. She's got a smile like Hollywood. And when I see her, I can't think straight. From all the chaos she creates I know she's just one girl It's like trying to catch a cannonball It's like trying to drink a waterfall I'm broken, I'm soaking wet But it's all good She's got a smile like Hollywood Shining from LA And when I hold her I can't let go The stars on the boulevard start to glow I know she's just one Great song. We're going to tell you it's really good. Yeah. I got to tell you. Forest FM. Forest FM. It's phenomenal. Out in, out in, uh, out in England. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's right. That's they they're playing it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I I'll tell you, I've been noticing that overseas, uh, England, um, some things, uh, some places in the Netherlands, Australia. Yeah. Much, there's a lot of indie stuff going on there that is, they yeah. like to hear. That's pretty you cool. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of like not here, <laughs> where all they want to hear is Taylor Swift and Brown Eye Girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got to tell you though, the, uh, Paul, Paul's, your style of music, it's 
a little different. It's not your typical four beat uh, style. There's an extra measure in there. There's different harmonies in there. I think it's really cool, and I love playing these songs. Ah, I appreciate that. I, yeah. love, I love having you guys on the, uh, on, the on the show. I'm excited for the 21st. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. going to be good. By the way, that's we're kicking off uh, around 9 o'clock. I think, Paul, you go on about, probably about 10, 10 yeah, 50, yeah. something like, like that. that yeah. Come on out. It's going to be a, a, a fun time. You know, bring your friends. It's going to be a CD release party. Yep. You're going to have CDs uh, there. Yeah, we'll have merch, as we like to There'll say. Be the merch. There'll, There'll be merch. There'll be a merch table and a hot merch girl there. Yeah. 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 If she doesn't show up, I'll, I'll go out front. Of you. <laughs> but you can also get all your stuff. I know I got yours off. Uh, I've got it on Spotify. I got it on Amazon. What yeah, else? Yeah, Spotify, Amazon. Uh, what used to be iTunes, now Apple Music. Apple Music. Uh, yeah. Something called Deezer. Um, yeah. This is big uh, now. Yeah, it's getting out there. So yeah, it's all the platforms. Plus, of course, if you want the actual CD, it's on CD Baby. Right. So yeah, it's out there. So, who were the guys that uh, played on the CD? Well, we've got a couple of people who are actually going to be at the show playing with us live, which is exciting. So I'll start with those guys. Um, you may know a guy named Gino Cappuccino, Gene Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know Gene. Bad dog, no doubt. B A A D D O G. There's three A's, right? Yeah, three yeah. A's. There's another Paul Marzano. It's M A R Z A A N O. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Marzano. Don't confuse me with him. No. Um, so, yeah, Gene Marshall will be there on keyboards. He played on two tracks. Um, a guy named Ray Leterio. Uh, we go back to high school, and so we played in bands in high school. After high school, um, and we made friends over the years, so Ray Leterio will be there as well. Uh, and then there were some other musicians. Um, I can go to them as well if you want to right now. Yeah, well, can, give them a shout out. Sure, I'd love to. Um, on drums, a guy named Dan Sakamoto. Right. Uh, on bass, he played as well. And Dan also played some guitar parts. So Dan was, is a multi instrumentalist. Uh, oh. He's 22 years old. Uh, he's in a. He's also. I'll give him a little plug. He's also in a band, uh, an indie band called Have a Good Season. Yeah, I um, heard some of their stuff. Great yeah, stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, We've got over seven thousand right. followers, uh, monthly listeners on um, on Spotify. It's a great band, and uh, uh, they have a song called Gum that I, I really love. I mean, I'm yeah. not just you know trying to plug, but it's like it's a great song. Cool. So uh, so there's Dan. Uh, uh, there's also a guy named Rob. Zazaro, he is also playing with us, right? Yeah. We're gonna, have a, we're gonna have some sort of like you know interchanging musicians up yep. there. Round a Robin, a little yep. Round Robin. So Rob's on a bunch of tracks, and Rob and I go back ten plus years. Um, and uh, yeah, those are the main musicians on on the CD on the album. What do they call them albums now, right? My son told me that. He's like, eh, they call them albums. That's they CDs. still call them still albums. albums. Yeah. I don't, All right. I don't know. In the digital format. Yeah, exactly. It's a bunch of tracks. That's great. Uh, Twelve of them, to be exact. So, so, what is your favorite uh, song on the album? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I I'm kind of partial to country song about a country song, but we can't talk about it because it has an expletive. Yes, yeah, so we're not we're not expl we're, we're, we're child expletive friendly right. here. We're we're G rated on this That's podcast. Right. So. You know, I have the most fun with that one, but you know. Um, yeah, and, and Smile Like Hollywood's fun, too. Yeah, yeah. that's a great song. I think that's the catchiest one on the album. I well, I'll that. tell you, I really enjoy the uh, the album, the CD. It's uh, I, I've told you before, I always thought from the first moment I heard it, it had a little Joe Jackson in it with some time signature changes, a little, yeah. little ins and outs here that you know people don't quite expect. Yeah. So I really love that aspect of I it. And that. the musicianship and singing is great on it, too. I'm not... You know, just blowing smoke, Paul. I you did, that. did a great job with it. But uh, I'm really more interested in, you know, things like how long have these songs been around, rattling around in your head? How yes. long, have, you know, this is your first release, right? Uh, it is. It okay. is my own stuff. You know, I've been in bands before, oh, obviously, sure. down, yeah. down the way. But I finally decided to take this, you know, catalog. <laughs> you know, to say I've written hundreds of songs is an embarrassment because that means I've written hundreds of crappy songs. Well, you, know? You, know, <laughs> you know what? Even <laughs> even Paul McCartney and John Lennon said wow. they had a lot of bad songs. Well, listen, so. I, I wouldn't even put <laughs> my toe in that water. Uh, no, no, no. But but that's, yeah. They but gave those to Ringo. Yeah. yeah. And he'd exactly. made millions out of it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they were their bad songs. Exactly. Um, but, um, no, you listen. They've been some. Some of them are brand new. You know, uh, the, the twelve tracks, six are newer, like written over the last year and or so. Okay. All uh, right. The other half, you know, were written probably, you know, ten years ago. So you know? maybe like half of them were, were written with the purpose of the release. Yeah, and half, and were, half like, were, got, were songs you had kind of, you know, yeah. kicking around that you always liked. Yeah, yeah well, they were just sitting. That's up. great. But you know, I have so many recordings also that um, are, you know, kind of three quarters done, half done that aren't even. Yes. Yeah. But I thought, you know, one of the ones that I think, you know, are far enough along. So um, I started writing songs when I was 12. 
you know, and then time just keeps going and going and going, and you know, well, you're 13 now, I'm 14, right? 14, 14. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I'll be able to drink at the show, but uh, yeah, so you know, it's it's uh, the kind of um, I think we all are musicians here, share the same passions, yeah, you know, you, you yeah. do it for the love. You and do it for the love, absolutely. Well, one thing, one thing I really like is the harmonies and the, and the, the keys that you put in this. In I believe you have plenty of songs. They must have a uh, a B or a B flat in there somewhere because <laughs> we've been told we never put play songs with Bs. But so that, but I think that's the Beatle uh, little little Beatle influence that you have in there, right? Listen, I you know my my very first influence in music came um, from a saxophone, which I started to play when I was ten. Um, but once I got past that, it was all Beatles for a long time. My my uh, my next door neighbor, this is this is an interesting story actually. My next door neighbor, um, Louis Falardo, he was a limo driver, and this is absolute documented, 100%. He drove the Beatles to the Ed Sullivan show. Oh really? Uh, yeah, he picked Sweet. them up from the airport as well. So and you know my friends who are more my age, this is yep. my dad, the, the, the autographs and the stories and. So, you know, they moved in from, uh, they lived in Manhattan, and when I was about, I want to say eight years old, they moved here into Jersey, and they came my next door neighbor up in Lyndhurst. I'm a North Jersey guy, by the Meadowlands there. And uh, so, Louis took me over, and he's like, you know, you know the Beatles? And I didn't really, you know, I was, you know, eight years old. I, mm -hmm. My parents were, you know, my, my parents, you know, were older parents, if you will. And they listened to big band, and, yeah. you know, if I heard the Beatles, I heard them accidentally of any W, you know, yeah. played them once yeah. in a while. But I didn't know exactly, you know, I wasn't into it. And he played me that, remember the Red album? Yeah, which the Greatest Hits, yeah. Yeah, the Greatest Hits album. Oh, yeah, 62 yeah. to 66. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was it. I was sucked in. Yeah. That, was, that was it. But yeah, to, to get back to your point, Adam, uh, totally, Beatle Harmonies all the way. I yeah. love yeah. Harmony. Right. I know you do. Yeah. you got to ask the limo driver. I'm actually a little more interested. Who was in the limo with the Beatles? Yeah. <laughs> It was. Yeah. Yeah. That was a wild time. Come on. <laughs> I, I think they were just coming from the place today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If you when they got yeah. back yeah. home, back, back, back yeah. to the hotel, it was a little different. But if you drove Aerosmith, maybe. But yeah. This was in '64. Whatever. It yeah. all started with the Beatles. It did. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's fascinating. So, so you're up in Lindhurst, which you know, a lot of my places in New Jersey, I, I judge them by the food areas. I believe. Steve Steakhouse up in Lindos. I don't know if, yep. if you remember that place. Yep. But well, that was a lot of fun there. So, uh, but yeah, Paul, so uh, that's awesome stuff. You've told us a lot about how you got started, yep. about the CD itself. I'm really curious about one song, mm -hmm. the song called Can't Imagine. Because mm -hmm. when you get into those lyrics and dig into it, well, excuse me, this is an English accent, <laughs> and this is an English interview, and if you don't like it's it... It's an English interview. <laughs> I thought it was called Can't Imagine. <laughs> can't Imagine. <laughs> can't do it. I can't imagine. But listen to those lyrics. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what's what's that all about? Those are some pretty heavy lyrics in there. Yeah, it's funny because I, I got a call from Scott here, bass player extraordinaire. <laughs> You guys kind of. Came. I'm never going to live this. Down. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it because uh, you know he was obviously learning some of the songs. He calls through. He's like, "Wow, can't imagine, dude. That is dark. You got to calm down. <laughs> What's going on in your head?" <laughs> and uh, you know that song really started not long after 9/11. Um, you know, completely wrote the song. You know, time after that, but but it really started um, that first line. The yeah. news is on five, six, and eleven. Um, got everybody's feed working 24-7 was originally the news is on 5, 6, and 11 got MSNBC working 24-7 so it really was written before you know social yeah, media right um, and it was written after 9-11 and it really if you just kind of go through the lyric yeah it really a lot of Oh, you know, it, it was, but it was the imagery. It is, and and what would happen after 9/11 for me, and we all have our stories, was that sort of juxtaposition of all the horrendous, you know, tragedy that was happening, and then John Lennon's song "Imagine" kept playing in my head. Like I watched stuff, and I, somehow that song, and, I, and it was just those two things together, and then. You know, juxtaposition, juxtaposition of it. Like, yes, they just yes. Made no sense. Right, and and it was like, well, you know what? I can't imagine. You know, I always got a little a little PO to John in some weird way. I was like, <laughs> you know what? Your world doesn't exist. But well, he know? was right. Say again. He was right. I think. Yeah. You know, if there was no religion, those people wouldn't have crashed into the to the thing. Yeah. A hundred percent. Right. And then I got a little bit like, you know what? Where are you, John Lennon? Kind of like that, you know, where have you gone, Joe DiMaggio? Maybe yeah. a, yeah. a little bit of that. that. That's actually a great point. Yeah. yeah. It's very, and yeah. so, you know what? I can't imagine. And it got a little dark, uh, but, but I, I think if you look at that little midsection, which is the bridge, 
I want to believe in love and peace and truth, you know, I kind of throw it in there. I do want to believe, but it's hard in the world we live in. And then you kind of fast forward to where we are now in 2019, and I kind of go back on those lyrics. They're like, you know what? Not a lot has changed since 2001 in terms of some of the things we're talking about. Yeah. Suicide bombers, and it was all then, and it is now. So, you know, a little dark, but, um, you know, this 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 album... It's almost 20 years. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost 20, 20 years. years. It's almost yeah. 20 years. Mm. But this album really, they're, they're, you know, it's called Mood Swing Serenade. There's a lot of ups and downs. Yeah. And, you know, some of it's very much cathartic. Some of it's like, hey, I want to write a pop song called Smile Like Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. So I cover a lot of ground. So um, I'm, I'm just excited that it's that it's, uh, that it's out there, that you guys are going to be playing the show. That's great. Marlins. Yeah, we're looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, we're really looking forward to it. So the to album's it. called Mood Swing Serenade. Paul Marzano. Why don't you take us out with uh, Can't Imagine, uh, and we'll get to hear a little bit of that. Well, the news is on, 5, 6, and 11. Got everybody's feet working 24-7. Human sacrifice, genocide, suicide, bombers, warheads, landmines stacked along the border. Yeah, yeah. Well, mama's in the kitchen, loading up the dishes. Thinking about the terrorists hiding in the bushes. I'm afraid to fly, I'm afraid to die. Walk into a nightclub, there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to hide, and where are you, John Lennon? Cause I just can't imagine. All I feel is hell below us, above us only. Terror in the sky, imagine the world in total chaos. It's easy, it's easy if you try. Try, try, try. Starving children, five millions, we can't get them nourishment. We've got bullets, we've got bombs, enough to feed that government. The disunited nations is running out of patience. War is here, God's own creation. And where are you, John Lennon? Cause I just can't imagine All I feel is hell below us Above us only terror in the sky Imagine the world in total chaos It's easy, it's easy if you try I wanna believe in love and peace Below us, all I feel is And we want to thank our sponsor, No Not Necklace Carrier. Go to nonotnecklacecarrier.com and you can find it where they're uh, being sold on all your favorite websites. Don't all get right. twisted. Don't get twisted. <laughs> Aloha. Thanks, Thanks Paul. The Aloha Monkey Shortcast Podcast would like to thank our sponsor, No Not Necklace Carrier. How many times has your lady handed you a tangled mess of necklaces to unravel? Make both of your lives easier with No Knot Necklace Carrier, the perfect jewelry carrier for travel and home that keeps necklaces tangle free. With plenty of room for all her accessories in three great designs, No Knot is the perfect gift or a must have for traveling musicians. Visit nonotnecklace.com and grab yours for under $20. For all things Aloha Monkey related, please reach out to us at alohamonkeyband.com. If you'd like to be part of our podcast series, email us at info at alohamonkeyband.com.